Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you watching. And if uh, you like small repair videos like this, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, leave a comment down below if you want. And also check out my other videos. I do more than just, uh, you know, repairs. I got a lot of other, like, custom homemade stuff going on. But anyways, let's get on to the repair. So since we're replacing the master cylinder, we gotta get all the fluid out of it first. So get yourself a turkey baster or a whole bunch of paper towels or something, but get all this fluid out of there. Um, because you gotta crack these lines and you don't wanna sit there and just, uh, you know, let it run out of the ground. You could crack the lines and then shove something in there, I guess, really quick to keep it from um, draining. And then once you remove the two bolts, maybe, Maybe that's the way we'll do it. Then you can dump it out after you remove those two bolts. Fall into the ground. <laughs> Scream for AJ. Okay. You want me to bring your phone out here? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably. On some models, it will be necessary to remove the lower dash panel and then unbolt and lower the steering column for access to the push rod and booster mounting nuts. Damn. So that takes care of the outside for now, anyway. I got Mike helping me out. Uh, door locks don't work. Huh. I got Mike helping me out on the inside. And apparently this is one of those models. You gotta drop the steering column and remove all that plastic stuff here. So this panel, he's unscrewing now. He's gotta come off. And then there's, um, well, we'll show you when we get in there. Mike did not the camera down. What, what? Or is this at your work? Yeah, the back door one. Are you gonna be able to sit up for me? Yeah, this right here, if that wasn't there, I could reach up in there and see stuff better.
Remember guys, we're doing this so you don't have to. You can watch us mess up. There's some parts, I'm sure those aren't important. So these little nuts or little screws are seven mils. And like I said, we're not sure if we have to take this out, but we do know dropping the column is gonna give us a lot more room to get to that pedal. Right. So there's definitely more to see. We still can't. Yeah, we're still just trying to drop the column. Where's the other bolt set you're talking about? Right here. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like that's all you're getting. That's a few inches. A couple inches at least, maybe. There you go, wiggle it around. say pull it out, it oh, said you may have to drop it a little. <sighs> that didn't do nothing. <laughs> okay, so he's going to pull this stud out right there. Or nut and bolt, whatever. We're going to pull that out and try to disconnect the two pieces of the column. So we can slide this up enough to get off the studs here and just kind of swing it out of the way, hopefully. Because uh, we we're trying to get to that stuff back there. It's attached to the pedal. You gotta slide that bolt out. That's what I'm trying. Oh, there, it there it goes. I thought you were trying to get the whole thing out. Now, let's see if we take it off the studs there. I'll try to support this end a little. This guy could come back a couple more inches. I can have. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Don't worry about that. Well, it's broken when a guy. What? Try and disconnect it. So oh. I can pull this out. Is that what's holding this up? Yeah. That and. Noodles. <laughs> I think that's it. So we got plenty of slack and wires. This guy would be the only thing. All right, let me see that clip again. Okay, so this clip is quite tricky. You, I had to take two mechanics picks, right? And to pry, to pry it open while getting with the other hand and then hold the two picks with one hand 
and with the other hand get the flathead underneath this part and pry it up because you got to get it up over that nipple the, over the lip and then the brake boost or the brake switch you just give it a little push and it comes off the uh, pedal assembly like that and then we'll slide it and now that's off and now the booster oh come on don't make me look like an idiot okay it'll come off we just gotta loosen the bolts right now because we just can't push the rod anymore sideways is all so we loosen the four bolts in the back and then and then it'll come out in the meantime i am going to bench bleed let me get out of here this guy you want to kind of guide me to put this guy back in there well oh, you don't want to hold that column forever you pull that thing out and get done <laughs> well let's let's see let go okay yeah I'm just worried about the plastic. The yeah, plastic so it definitely plastic. helps having this column out of the way. Oh. Um, it may or may not be necessary depending on how small your hands are and how many times you've done this, but uh, yeah, now you guys know. Is it loose? Yeah, it's not all the way. Now it's in. <laughs> uh huh? Okay. All right. Put those brand new nets on there. Shiny gold. Yeah, there's rubber band on here to keep these nuts from flying away. Uh -huh. Put it on the wrong side. All right, got the brake bled, which did take a while. And uh, it did seem like just quick, quicker, shorter bursts. Like, uh, 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 instead of, you know, trying to go the whole way in and whole way out, shorter burst helped more than, uh, anything, really. And this booster and this master cylinder are both brake best, which I believe is O'Reilly's. Um, the pluses that I can see is that the booster came with the check valve, the cons is that this did not come with the self-bleeding kit it just came with these plugs which you know it gets the job done but i think having the little kit that bleeds back into it like i first tried to use but mine was leaking all over the place so it was not doing me any favors but i think those can get the job done a little faster but we were not really in a hurry here right now so Hey, uh, Mike. Yeah. Give that pedal a push, just a touch. Is it making contact? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't feel like there's a bunch of play with that pin. Just yeah, we're fine.
What's up? Sorry. So Mike's just buttoning up the interior. Uh, the column went back in with, what was it? Four bolts, or was it just two? Four. There were four big bolts? Four and then yeah, just yeah. one for the center shaft. Right, right, okay. So four big bolts and one for the center shaft, and then we got these 10 mils and seven mils holding on these kick panels, and then the plastic piece. But, uh, so far, so good. Uh, we'll be ready to bleed them here in just a sec. Oh, uh, hook up the check valve hose. Come on. <laughs> Look, I forgot to bolt up the bracket. Don't. Let's see if we can swing that down. There we go. All right, I'll, I'll bolt that bracket back on. There it is. All right. How many others didn't see it? Come on, be honest. Tell me if you didn't see it. I couldn't be the only one. What do you got, man? Carpenter's pencil. Right. No. You've got it broke loose? Yeah. Okay, I'm pumping. 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 Holding. All right. Close. You're closed? Yeah. Okay, I'm up. I'm gonna use my other foot. Pumping, pumping, pumping. Holding. Okay. Go. All right. Well, that's gonna do it, guys. Job well done. We are having a bit of a problem uh, bleeding the brakes at the moment. I can't get the bleeder bolts broke loose on the front calipers, and they feel like they're gonna rust out. So, so it's drivable for now, but you can tell there's still a little bit of air in the system. Um, so I think the next step when he's ready is to just get some calipers and then we'll we'll bleed it again then but until then it's uh it's time to enjoy one of these and chill out and uh thanks for watching guys please like subscribe and um you have yourselves a good day well apparently all i had to do was take the tire off and uh, that took care of it. I was able to get the vice grips on it. Can you see my hand? Yeah, there we are. Okay. And uh, yeah, so now I just need help. Um, bleeding it. And I'm going to replace that since it got all chewed up. It's crazy. You know, you think you can do it. You know, if you can do it with a tire off, you should be able to do it with a tire on. But no, 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 I was wrong.
Thank mm-hmm. you.